Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to beautiful Sosnovka. Um, the day, the afternoon is underway. Um, as you can see we're harvesting some corn here. We're just going to take some straw and corn over to our lovely pigs. So it's just dawned on me as I was just setting up this day. Um, and I intend to get this play through, well I shall get this play through wrapped up in this episode. Um, not far, three days till 20, uh, 19 launches. Will I ever play on this wonderful map again? I spent a lot of time on this map in 15. It was the, um, I played Bjornholm has kind of the start, the, the map that came with the game. Didn't play Westbridge Hills because I didn't like it. And it was in, it was in the game before 13. Um, and then Sosnovka came out in the Platinum Expansion and that's probably, uh, and that's what I played pretty much for the rest of the game. Um, and Obviously, it's been a big playthrough here, and I played it in a different way. Stolen all that land, um, which I know from chatting to people, it never really dawned on them. I'm trying to remember where to put the straw, it's around the other side. Um, you won't be able to do that in 19. It's, it's, the game mechanic makes it impossible, which is kind of a good thing, but a lot of mod maps for this game certainly have given you areas of grassland that you could mow or you could even cultivate just as a way giving you a bit of an option at the beginning um, and if you were prepared to put in the manual labor which is really how this game works whether it's forestry or silage or whatever um, it's the manual labor that brings in the money the quickest right you're gonna have some straw here aren't you go on oh look at that um, we'll bring the corn around here so yeah that's gonna be a different mechanic in 19 so I'm looking forward to that and these pigs, let's just have a little look. We've now got 31. I think we start with 19. And um, our instructions were to start selling them when we hit 30. But we're not going to start selling them. There's no need. Um, in hard, we'll make $1,200 a pig. Provided we take them over to the animal. Ministry of uh, Animals sell point ourselves. So in with the corn. Corn is not, oh, see, water. That's what I'm here for. Give them some water. The pigs, um, they've not really got going. I brought them obviously into this playthrough quite late once we had a bit of money and a bit of freedom. We just didn't have the money to get into pigs. But once you've got 30 pigs as we have now and you've seen how little work they are. Um, we This is probably the second time we've been back here since we bought them. Um, they're just going to keep breeding now. The simulate every four hours we're making a pig so that's six a day so once you can just leave them here once they start becoming a bit of a nightmare in terms of managing the pigs and that's when i usually start selling them um i've had one goldcrest valley farm my very earliest farm actually turned into a farm for 300 pigs that's where i did my pig tutorial video one of the very first youtube videos i did certainly for farm simulator um 300 pigs will happily be fed off of the starter fields on goldcrest valley and all you will be doing is selling pigs you'll make so much money um i heartily recommend if you get your horseshoes on goldcrest valley buy as many pigs as you can and just learn how to play the game um with those three fields you'll make so much money off the pigs that you can try everything you want and get big equipment i assure you very soon um just from the income from the pigs right we need to take this guy back over here right today in terms of the harvest there's nothing new for you to see we're taking care of the pigs we're gonna go and buy the cows we're gonna get up to 100 cows today and then we're gonna do an experiment because basically we're gonna i'm gonna do today you're not gonna see much of today um, you'll see me get the, the cows in and I'll fill the trough up as best I can. I also want to make a note and just see how much it takes to feed 100 cows for 24 hours um, and each of the things that they're using. And then we can do some maps and see how, you know, the, the farm we've got now, how many cows could we feasibly just do with what we've got. Um, I'm also then going to take a day off. In terms of farming, um, we, I'm going to let the simulation basically run for 24 hours. I'm going to keep the pigs clean but uh, and the cows, but that's about it. And just see how much profit you make on a day doing nothing. Because obviously we're not going to be paying wages. We're not going to be paying 
for fertilizer um, we're not going to be paying for seed um, there's going to be various costs that we're saving by absolutely doing nothing and we'll just see compared to the overheads that we have to pay every day the vehicle maintenance the animal upkeep etc etc and the milk income from 100 pigs uh, cows um, excuse me i'm easily confused if you noticed where would where, where are we just to see while we're in that situation then the end of this after that we're going to finish off the episode to see where we are see where we can go and uh get ready for the audit day to end all audit days so off we go next one cows here we are guys up at the shop and we've got a monster on our hands um in the animal section it's this micheletto uh animal trailer we've leased it it's, co it's quite expensive it's cost us thirty three hundred dollars it doesn't actually tell you how many animals it can carry in the description which is odd so we're going to find out um previously we've used the bruno and to be honest that costs as much as it costs to move four cows three and a half cows and even we're going to get about 25 but uh, we could easily do that with this trailer in an hour but now that we're such a a senior uh collective farm we get access to all this good stuff now so we're going to make the most of it it looks to be honest with me it's with all those individual little fans i would say it's probably actually set up to carry something smaller than cows but i don't know i'm no expert i only see these when i go past them on the motorway um i feel a little bit sorry for the animals that are in them so let's head over and get us some cows and now we have negotiated using our seasons glitch a, a good price you um, see the video in the description if you want to know more about that if you don't know that already and uh yeah this map um there's even things i haven't really shown you i, I try to keep this all very family friendly i don't swear in this which is amazing because i swear quite a lot in real life um i actually learned all my swear words off my mum from when she was knitting and made mistakes with the exception of one that i learned at the snooker hall with my when i was out with my dad i'll leave you to figure out what which one that might be but anyway um and I've, so i've not i've not shown you the uh the suspicious ditches and depressions around the railway sidings on one side of the map i've not shared with you the local rumors about why the uh the doors to the cellar of the children's school in town are welded shut but um if you play this map do have a good look around uh, why it looks quite the way it does stylistically you know there could be such a story to this map i'd love to know what it was i'm not selling grain we may never come to the bakery so just for old time's sake the hero ladies of Sosnovka, which is actually the the wallpaper on my pc how sad is that uh this pc the the good reliable recording pc um i've learned so much over the course of this playthrough right let's just stop a minute and get the cow sorted out i'll sus suspend the wittering we want cows we're getting a 700 dollar a cow discount it's not the best i could have got but i couldn't remember which save that was um right so we're going to buy 14 will go in this trailer so there we go off we go right where was i you know what i've almost forgotten where i was um yeah when i started making this playthrough um and looking back i actually watched some of the very first episode um they had to be under 15 minutes because of the youtube limitation on a new user um i had to record all the footage on the xbox recorder upload it to OneDrive, which took hours on my old internet connection um then download them from OneDrive onto my laptop edit them in movie maker there and then upload them to youtube which took forever um, we moved house earlier this year and got a much better internet setup um, broadband wise before a 40 minute video was taking me 12 to 14 hours to upload and could easily get um, disturbed and just I'd get back from work and it hadn't even happened have I got the cows? yes I have actually got the cows 14 cows open on the unload just, sorry, I haven't even explored the mod. I don't think it has anything. It has beacon lights. Is it beacon lights on the... No, nothing. 
There are no wiggly, squiggly, flashy bits on this trailer whatsoever. It's pure utility. There's no problem with that as far as I'm concerned. Unload those cows. 90. Let's go back and get some more, shall we? I'll continue chatting if you don't mind. Um, yeah, that just took ages. Now, a 40 minute video takes about an hour and 10 to 15 minutes to upload. It does eat all of the internet in the house. Nobody else can even do anything while well, that is in progress, but that's okay. I'm sure we could adjust that, but I'm not going to let the teenager do that. He's happy. I usually do it at, or when I go out to work. So now we've got the El Gato, which can be a bit of a pain. I'm going the wrong way. Oh no, I wanted to come this way to show you the uh, the poplar. We do need to harvest that. That's not going to be ready till tomorrow though. So the one piece of work we shall do tomorrow, which we have to do manually anyway, is we shall harvest the poplar. Or will we? We might even just wait and do it the next day. And um, poplar doesn't wither. I've got plant withering off, to be absolutely honest with you, just for safety. Um, but poplar doesn't really go off. I'm sure it doesn't. We've got the El Gato HD60, which costs what? A bit of an investment, £120. The very first recording capture gadget we had, I got off eBay for £15. Um, there are still some old World of Tanks videos on. That was made on an Xbox 360 with a £15 capture thing using the um, the free piece leads, red, green, blue. That, that was odd as well. Very weird. There was, it was like having the Borg in the room. There were so many cables running around the house. Anyway, back to the animals, shall we? Cows again. Right, we're up to 90, aren't we? So we technically we only need 10 more. And that'll leave us a bit of money. Yeah, we'll just get, we'll just get the 10. But no pigs. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Confirm. I'll talk a little bit more about the technicalities. I've got to wind up the Altenstein playthrough of buying up the whole map, which I'm on the verge of doing. Um, I want to get this one done first. So I'll talk more about the technical side of what I've learned about YouTube and how to make the videos or not learn <laughs> I'll leave you to judge and please guys you know any comments about this playthrough I'm sorry it's had breaks in it it's been all over the place in some respects but any any comments any feedback would be great I intend to carry on making videos I'm looking forward to FS19 I shall be there making some videos tutorials etc etc um, hopefully putting all the little lessons that I've learned into practice uh, one thing that I do have to deal with is that my job can go crazy and uh, commitments can go crazy as they have in the last couple of weeks and uh, it can be quite hard for me to find the time to make the videos which takes a lot longer than you guys may uh, realise if you haven't actually managed to do it or tr sorry not managed to do it tried to do it yourself I do it because I just like messing around and doing things and uh, I'd be sat here talking to myself anyway, to be quite honest with you. Right, we now have 100 cows. We can return that trailer, but not the dolly. Oh, while we're here, just remember, well, I remember, I should say, the lease equipment. We've relied a lot on lease equipment in this game because we've been short of cash. It has really, really worked. Um, look, we've still not got an hour on the water container we've had for the whole game. So all we've been paying is a small daily rate. The busiest piece of lease equipment by far is this. It's almost on eight hours, the Amazoni cedar that we got for the um, initially to plant the sunflowers, which we now also use for corn. But eight hours at its lease price. If we look in the shop, um, per operating hour, six fifty. So we're not even up to six and a half thousand dollars, half the purchase price yet. Um, and we've worked that machine quite hard, haven't we? Um, it's a question of just not leaving it hitched to machines. If I, if I went off and did a field with that and then just left it hitched to a tractor I wasn't using, um, the costs would have gone through the roof. So as long as you only use it when you need it, 
um, be aware of what the cost is going to be do some sums um, just to see if it's going to be worthwhile but leasing is absolutely a good way forward absolutely anyway we're up to 100 cows let's see where we are with the trough the pigs need a little bit more wheat and barley we shall take that up when we've harvested some and the cows are certainly all right for a day or two but i am going to top them up we're going to make two more mixes of mixed rations top up their straw and then they should be hunky dory i'll note down how much they've got you know water straw grass blah 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 now um probably about 2 p.m um i'm just going to come back to you at 2 p.m tomorrow afternoon and um we'll see where we are with these cows we'll also see where we are shortly after that actually no i won't see you at 2 p.m tomorrow afternoon I'm going to see you at the cattle trough at midnight tomorrow night. I'll be able to tell you how much they used in 24 hours. And I will also be able to see how much money we made by doing nothing. How about that? So, I shall see you then. So, it's the day after tomorrow, so to speak. We've done our 24-hour no-work experiment. And I'm very pleased to say we made about $16,000 profit just from the milk. Um, well, actually, we'll show you the numbers very quickly. Um, today's milk income, uh, 28000 so that's for 100 cows. Yesterday's was a little bit lower because we didn't have the 100 cows all day. So yesterday we actually spent no money whatsoever apart from vehicle running costs, vehicle leasing costs, and the animal upkeep. And we made yesterday nearly $12,000 profit. Um, we made nearly $5,000 more today. So yeah, that's pretty good. We can make $17,000, $18,000 a day almost doing nothing and all our overheads are co uh, covered. So everything else we do on this farm pretty much is pure profit and that is an excellent place to be. And the other thing is Right, so now we need to get to the shop and we need a harvester and not a harvester harvester we need a forage harvester now it doesn't matter which one of the actual vehicles we get from these three uh, so we're just going to lease the cheapest one as you can see it's not very cheap it is actually going to cost us nearly eighteen thousand dollars but we can afford it and we get access so there you go so we need it that and then we need a forage header but we need the one the only one in the game that will harvest poplar this new holland piece here and it costs two thousand dollars to lease that so combined nearly twenty thousand dollars so let's see the beast shall we here it is it's a big dumpling of a machine these can be fitted with a variety of headers um, mostly for making silage uh, either from corn or from grass uh, they can get mowing headers they can turn any crop into chop it up to make silage though I've never been tempted to do that myself there we are now wonderfully modern machines all of them there's, there's no old retro forage harvester to be had in the game so let's head over to the field and then we'll get harvesting and while we're on the way i mean what else have we learned in this playthrough i've learned a lot i've learned you can steal land <laughs> um cows as you've seen are quite low maintenance and from the numbers of what they consumed in 24 hours which i'm going to put up about now as a little graphic for you um, if you do some maths, that actually figures out. On top of what they've consumed, what they produce, they produced uh, twenty-eight thousand dollars worth of milk. They produce two cows, and they also produce in twenty-four hours three thousand liters of mess that needs clearing up. But that's three thousand liters of grass that goes back into the food, so that's not too bad. Um, long and short of it is, our strip of grass that produces ten bales of grass or hay or can be wrapped into silage. I'm going completely the wrong way. Um, we'll more than cope with what we need. We basically need about eight and a half bales of grass a day, or grass product a day, of one form or another. And we need 
on top of that about five bales of straw and as we've seen uh, just field 14 as it's been known is uh, as our barley field is more than capable of producing more bales of straw than that so with just exactly what we've got we can easily keep on top of the 100 cows sure we're going to be mixing more food in fact they're going to need combined about 40,000 litres of mixed food so let's uh, uh, over three uh, big mixed buckets right now let's get started here now we've got two options here we can either put the trailer straight on the back of this guy and the Schlurter is loitering with the trailers. We've got two options. We can either set the harvester going with a worker and then drive alongside him ourselves to catch the product. Or we can hitch trailers straight onto the back of the, the uh, harvester and let it kind of tow its own along. Um, I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to accompany him, I think. We'll see how it goes. I also try to want to want to try to keep the worker harvesting lap width each pass. But we'll see. You can see how we've crammed it in the field. The field is absolutely chock-a-block. We have double planted. Let me turn the help screen back on so I know what's going on. Right. Pipe out. There you go, he's found that little, he's, he's happy with what's next to him. He's going to chuck it into either of them, it's going to be a bit random. So we're going to hire a worker and off he goes. And then we need to jump into our Schlurter and just keep up with him. I've no idea what the shield is going to be like, I have to be quite honest with you. Why has he stopped? Oh, a little bit too far away. Okay. Now we know. And the advantage of the pipe on the harvester is that the tractor can be on either side. It will twist round so you never have to drive in the crop. And this is one of those rare occasions where you might actually want to set the cruise control speed which you, if you hold left and right bumper you can see down right in the bottom right hand corner I'll catch it, oh, look how far he can fire it, he'll wait there for me if I put that down to about 5 miles an hour and once I get alongside him, if I put the tractor into cruise like so that's a little bit quick so we'll come down Now the harvester will do his turn, he won't worry too much about where we are while he's turning, so we can do our turn. And we come back and meet him here. Re-engage cruise control once he gets on his way. Oh. Off you go. And we can adjust the cruise control. It actually goes up and down in half mile an hour increments. We're a little bit slow there. There you go. Four and a half miles an hour. We've exactly matched his speed. Oh, it's Gladys today. Very reliable worker. The team have done so well. The field work just takes care of itself, to be honest with you. All I'm really doing is moving vehicles from field to field. Um, nothing interesting to show you at all. The guys can just get on with that stuff. Alright, I'm going to get on with this. And we'll come back to you when progress has been made. Well, I've had to call upon the services of another old friend. The Flegel Bull. 32,000 litre capacity trailer. It's actually a mod. In 17, in 15, it was my go-to trailer. Um, it was in the vanilla game there. And in terms of... Um, it was basically $32,000 to carry 32,000 litres, which is how I look at trailers, you know. Simple as that. The dollar to litre capacity price. Uh, and they join together 
as you can see up in the background there we've been quite busy looks like we've got one more run to do here now I must 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 remember oh don't get stuck now we've done so well I must remember to stash some for the auditor to see tomorrow now I gave up letting the work of doing it and kind of tailing him um, A because he doesn't like having the trailer connected to himself he, well he was doing some really weird turns um, which leads to it taking much much longer and this is an expensive machine to lease so just out of principle I took the reins myself also you can get him doing a much better whip as you can quite often with machines I'm doing it manually than the worker will do and yeah so I can just whiz him around like that whereas it was taking you know 15 20 seconds for the worker to do it with the trader attached so I've done it like this it hasn't taken too long at all I may have half an empty trailer ish pipe in on the harvester I think we'll call that done these amounts are minuscule I'm not going to run around after them and look at what we've made ourselves now when we took the uh, the potatoes to sale with all the wagons pulled by the Schlurter that was my farm sim 13 flashback from the Xbox 360 and here we're going to have my farm sim 15 flashback again the Schlurter became as soon as the classic pack was out in 15 the Schlurter was my go-to tractor I'm actually thinking though the most powerful machine we have on the farm now is this harvester and um, we've got to take these wood chip the best price today is at the biogas heating plant right down the bottom left hand side of the uh, map near the freight yard and the mill where we've been many times it's straight down the main road so it's not too bad a journey for old time's sake the harvest is an option um, I'm just going to check on the lease because you know I like to check on such things leased items we've had him for just over half an hour so we could have done twice as much as that um, we'll return them both very expensive piece of equipment to forget to return and then end up paying an extra hour although if he sat there doing nothing engine switched off not hitched the time's not ticking so remember that right off we go how much have we got 117,844 litres out of that land there that's a lot and the price is quite good 161 um, I think if you look at the wheat price best price there is 450 I think we're getting 8 to 1 um, wood chip to wheat I have got it written down somewhere but I can't quite remember so this like potatoes is a very high profit crop but it's quite expensive to get the equipment to harvest and plant it well certainly harvest it that's why with potatoes the Akpil Bulwa 2 potato harvester being so cheap really is a game changer look at us can we fit into the camera no it'd be too long for the camera that's as far as we can zoom back um, and, and I would urge any person starting up a map to consider potatoes I'm gonna put the mini map on if I get this wrong we're gonna get quite 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 lost there we go I obviously know some of this map most of this map like the back of my hand but there's just areas where I lose lose my direction anyway yeah potatoes I've certainly learned that potatoes are great now that it's so much cheaper to harvest them the real off putter is the fact it's going to cost you 10,000 54,000 litres of potatoes we figured out to harvest potatoes with the vanilla equipment and it costs you a couple of thousand to get hold of that Agpil Boulevard 2 and do it. So I'd highly recommend that. That's something I've learned. Now I must have played Farm Simulator now for about five years, I'm guessing. Um, I had Farm Simulator on the Xbox 360, which was Farm Sim 13. 
and in every playthrough this has been a major tractor for me so just because of the performance and the price it also is so wonderfully generic I think if anyone from the age of 3 to 103 drew a tractor on demand it would look a lot like that wouldn't it Ooh. it's got its own engine sound and it's odd yeah so I played this game for five years and always had this sort of tractor in it it's a bit odd I hope it turns up in the new game it's almost as familiar as my own car we're nearly there this is hopefully going to be a reasonable amount of money so we've got a hundred times a hundred I'll let you do the maths it's very late I'm just going to check now on the mini map. It's over here. We're not going to cut across the grass with all these wagons just in case we get tangled up. I never did quite figure out the correct way. There's a sign that tells me I'm supposed to go around it this way. There you go, I got it right once in this playthrough. Oh, come on. He's pulling. He's doing ever so well. Look at that. Now remember, I want to take one wagon back to the farm. I hope I take one wagon back to the farm. Well, what do I have to do with these now? Right, this is the wood chip cell. Oh my word. Am I going to get these all around? Let me pull back a little bit. I'm too late to snake it round wider. I think I'm going to have to go back and get some tra oh, trailers at some point. So I'm going to get quite, quite stuck. Right, I want to detach. Why not I just detach that one? Right, here we go. Will I get an unload symbol? Oh, is it over here? That's a timber cell point that I've never wanted to use. Well, mm, don't like those cranes. Right, go. Three thousand. That wasn't a full wagon, though. As long as we covered the cost of the equipment, let's have a little look back in the shop. What did we pay? We paid. It was twenty thousand, wasn't it, for the header and the harvester? I don't think we're going to quite make that back, you know. But it doesn't matter because this is all about fulfilling quotas. That's one of the wonders of working for a ministry. It may not be the best, most sensible thing to do, but you better hit your target. In fact, Fleagles, you can all go. We're done with you. I've just got to go back and rescue these two other trailers now. Causing traffic chaos in Sosnovka. At least they're not as aggressive as those guys over in Altenstein. Alright. There we go. Get back around now. And remember, we're going to take the smaller trailer back. for audit purposes. So no, we've lost money. <laughs> if you're going to plant wood chips, plant a lot more wood chip than that. I mean, we only use the machine for 0.4 of an hour. Uh, so just even for the money that we've already spent, we could have got nearly, well, twice, well, twice as much. Um, I think finance, harvest income, that should be all we've got on there today, 15,000 so we've lost about 5,000 but we could have harvested 30,000 worth of wood chips in the same amount of time so it can make a profit but we weren't, we weren't in it for the profit we were in it for the ticked box I shall see you back at the farmyard my friends 
Okay guys, that's it. All the farming here is done for the day. The entire team is assembled up here. Let's have a little walk down the line, shall we? We got the the Forshrit, the E516 harvester, replaced the case that we were issued with when we came here, which at one stage was costing us six and a half thousand dollars a day in maintenance. So that saved us a lot of money with the old Ministry of Farming header from the Massey Ferguson pack. The two Zetas have served us very well. I'm very impressed. They're not exactly the trendiest tractors, but these have done everything we needed them to. The front cultivator, which was a mod, um, which really saved the day early game for us. It saved us time, it saved us money in wages, and it allowed us to actually have a tractor that wasn't tied to field work all day to do some other stuff with. The trailers, one of which has the wood chips, And uh, yeah, if you need wood chips, do some forage harvesting on the poplar. Do not try that wood chip machine. Although other machines are available. And wood chips also, you can get placeables to sell them too. So you can put those up in the woods or, or next to your field. Um, you can make life a little bit easier for yourself if you want to get into that side of things. The Schlurter, I've talked about it so much. The 1500 TVL tractor, very large. One more time on that horn. Love it. The weeder saved us money. Late additions because we needed to get quicker on the baling and the mowing, etc. The windrower, the little Zeta with his bale wrapper and his method, as invented here on Sosnovka, is now the standard ministry bale wrapping technique taught in the academy. Isn't that good? The balers, one of each square circle, the stacker, the mixer to keep the cows happy, keep them healthy, and they are. And from the Ministry of Forestry, the Massey 200C tracked tractor who has earned his keep and a million miles beyond that in his forestry work. We're all ready for the audit. Who knows what will happen tomorrow? Who knows? Hopefully we'll get more freedom, we'll get more autonomy and we can take this farm forward. But thank you very much for following us on our journey from poverty to relative wealth. Let's say that. We've done pretty well. We started with very little. We've got considerably more. What more could you want? That's quite a nice shot. That's going to be a screenshot. There we go. Look on the Xbox recorder. Thank you very much for joining us. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's been interesting. I love this farm. I've loved this machinery. I've loved the way we've managed the farm. It's been great. Can't wait for the next playthrough to start in Farm Simulator 19. Okay guys, and one last thing I have to point out. The Grand Collective Committee have had a boat. Field 14 is no longer known as Field 14. It has been named in honour of one of our subs, the guy who got this uh, playthrough going again, Mr Kevin Frost. So, Field 14 is now officially known as Field Kevin. Thank you very, very much, mate. So please guys, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the playthrough. Let me know any suggestions you have for future playthroughs I shall be doing. What you enjoy, what you didn't enjoy so much. I'm very happy to hear about it. Take care. There you go, Kevin. You've just turned golden brown. I'll start that bit again. Likes, comments, thank you very much. Subscribe if you want to stay in touch. We'll be back with you very soon. And finally, from beautiful, beautiful Sosnovka, goodbye.